Definitely a cult. The people who worked there were overly friendly and asked us to join their cult. There is no grass, none. You'll play off mats. You may also encounter an eightsome blasting music. Join them, they'll offer you beer. Picture playing golf on the moon. We're here at Willie Nelson's Cut and Putt here in Spicewood, Texas. Rating on the internet was 2.2 stars. So I'm gonna play this entire course. We're gonna show you guys every square inch and we're gonna see, is it maybe better than 2.2 stars or potentially worse? I'm Josh Mayer, this is the baddest. Let's get right to it. At the end of the video, we're gonna give the course a review based on three things. Hospitality, conditions of the course, and price. We're also gonna try and find out if this course is a cult. Not really knowing what to expect here at Willie's Place. We headed over to the pro shop to check in and we weren't disappointed. What's this guy's name? Rocco Vasolino. Oh, Rocco Vasolino. Italian. Uh, yeah. yeah. I threw a little bit of that for his romance. How are we doing? Good. Just looking to get nine holes in, I guess. If... Beautiful. Here we go. First hole, par four, 355 yards. Far away, baby. A little bit of scat here in the first tee box, but a little scat never hurt nobody. It's just, that's good fertilizer. So it's left. Kind of a weird swing, but I think we're gonna be able to find it. A review told me to bring a mat, so shout out to the reviews. That's what you get when you read reviews. We've got what looks to be probably like 75, 80 yards, somewhere around there. I got 56 in hand. Goal today, break 40. We got nine holes. Oh man, still thinned it. Little COG. Okay, greens, brown. But they're pretty soft, and honestly, I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna roll pretty good. I'm gonna pop her out there. I mean, if that's not, I mean, they're a little quick. I probably blasted that a little too hard, but right. Oh man. Okay. More than I am, but bang. Okay. Bogey on the first. No biggie. Uh, conditions are gonna be tough. Greens. We just gotta get a feel for them. They're brown but not the worst greens we've seen. I, I will say, not the worst greens we've seen. Fairways, maybe the worst fairway we've seen. I'm, dude, I've always wanted to try out one of these things here, right? Dude. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure if that's actually how it feels, like how you want it to feel, but maybe I just suck. Okay, hole number two here, we got a little par three, eight iron into the wind. Catch a little piece of that left side. Maybe be the number as well. That'd be rad. I think we're on the green. This has been the hardest part here, getting the tees out of the ground. Holy cow. Ah. Not the worst place to be. Greens are sneaky receptive. Get up. Go. Go. Ah. Come on. Hey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is back-to-back -back buggies. That's no bueno. Thought I was going the wrong way here, but Turns out, nope, this is actually the cart path. Just a little off-roading. I did notice the wheels are a little bit lifted on this golf cart, which is kind of nice, but fun. I don't, I don't know, it's kind of a weird, weird feeling. I feel a little bit like out of place, maybe a little bit overdressed. Oh, I feel like that's a little bit more on brand there. Feeling like I fit in a little bit more now. All right, let's hit this shot. We got par four, so I'm just going eight iron out to those trees on the right. Maybe a little bit too far right. I think it's gonna kick left though. Nope, didn't really kick left, but I think we're fine. The battle of battles here. We've been just battling all day. Oh my God. Like I don't even put the tee that far in. <sighs> I'm not even joking about this. This isn't like, oh my gosh. Okay, we're good. Onward. Okay, same we got like 211 to the pin here. Definitely not the greatest place to be, but I can't imagine that being down there is the greatest place to be here. Not the best like laid out golf course so far. Got a great lie here though. Kind of hung it out right. Also feels like I hit that too far. I will say the only thing about the, the mat is that the rocks get underneath the mat and then it creates an uneven lie. So a little bit weird, but I feel like probably better than hitting off the rock. So why did that hurt my pack? Okay, not that bad. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be. I think that's off tune. Ooh, a little rough off the start. Okay. Bang. Okay. 
Um, two holes down, or three holes down. We gotta stop the bleeding here on the bogey train. Tough course though, I will say. Haven't hit any fairways because there quite literally are no fairways to hit. Also, is it a cult? I don't know. We're still figuring that out. According to Webster's Dictionary, the definition of a cult is a misplaced or excessive admiration for a particular person or thing. Yeah, uh, the white tees must be Willie's tees. They got a little, uh, is that a Buckeye? Ohio State, is he a big Ohio State fan? All right, here we go. Three wood, Tacoma three wood, brand spanking new. I've only used it like three times. And I think it's a hard dog leg right. We're just gonna try and rip one over these trees here. Oh, wow. That felt really good. Holy, that's a Tacoma. 198 out. We got six iron in hand. Got to draw it around this tree here. Oh, bummer. Phew, I think technically we're in the fairway here. That's right at it. Mag, zoom in on that, that might go in. Oh yeah, brother. Kind of getting a feel for it now. We're getting a feel for it, settling in. From what I'm picking up playing this course, it's kind of like the anti-country club course. Went on their website before we came here, found out they have a whole list of rules, but they're not the type of rules that you would think about. There are some interesting rules. A couple of my favorites here. Gambling is forbidden, of course, unless you're stuck or you need a legal deduction for charities or educational expenses, which is actually kind of funny because we were talking to the guy in the pro shop. Basically, this place got taken away uh, because of Willie's uh, financial trouble with the IRS, and then he ended up having to buy it back. So I think this is kind of like a charitable donation for him. So no more than 12 in your foursome. Let's see what they did there. Final one, which I thought was a little bit Bit misogynistic. Uh, no bikinis, mini skirts, skimpy see-through attire allowed, except on women. See what they did there? They got you. First birdie of the day. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's going in. Go in. Oh, bummer. So I feel like in the summer, these greens actually might not be that bad. If they're watering and the grass is growing and they're green, don't quote me on that. If you play here in the summer and you already know that they're that bad, on hole number five, baby, let's fire away. Par four, 400 yards. Going too hybrid again. On these types of courses, we just keep the driver in the bag. I don't know how that's gonna do. Yeah, it's all bounce, I think it should be fine. 140 yards to the pin. We're gonna try and avoid this tree here. Mags, zoom in on that, that might be in the hole. Kind of a two birds, one stone situation here at Willie's Place. You get a little golf, but you also kind of get a little off-road park here. Whoa! I ended up going a little long. I can't believe I didn't see that though. Maybe a little too much steam. Maybe not enough. Chill out. Oh, perfect amount of steam. Bang. Okay, Willie's Place, I'll tell you what charming it's really charming it's like it's, it's it's bad don't get me wrong conditions are bad but more charming than a lot of the other places I've played it's got it's got some uniqueness to it which I like I don't think anybody really ever comes and plays this place to be honest you could have some you could have a lot of fun here okay hole number six little par five 525 yards we're going back to the Tacoma three wood it's a bad it's just an ugly looking tee shot to be honest it's just a really bad looking tee shot Fell off. That was a pretty good shot. That felt really good. That Tacoma three wood is feeling nice, brother. That Ignis F dubs you. I think I'm just gonna try and aim it at the middle of those two water towers there. Okay, kind of yanked it a little bit left. Just chill out. Okay. Dude, I'll tell you what. Love the dogs out here. These guys are great. What's up, Bovers? It's a good looking dog. Love that. Good. Oh, he's grabbing my ball. He's grabbing, <laughs> he's grabbing my ball. It's gone. Just drop it, drop it on the green. Drop it on the green. <laughs> How you doing, man? What's his, what's his name? 
Shimmy. It's a good dog name, Shimmy. He's running away from you. Is it he or she? Don't want to misgender your dog. He, okay. We got a nice little lift clean place from Shimmy here. We're actually in a better spot. We were under that tree over there on the rocks. Now we got a little grass to work with. Shout out to Shimmy. Sit. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. See, this might be our first birdie of the day, assisted by Shimmy. I don't know what the rule book says about that, but for the first birdie of the day, bang, shout out to Shimmy. Great dog name, by the way. Shimmy. Hole number seven, we got a par four, 391 yards. Let's keep it firing. So I have no idea where this hole goes. It just goes straight down, and I can't see like a fairway anywhere, really. That wasn't to the left of the trees. That was a little bit right, but I think it's fine over there, to be honest. I don't know if I could have played that any better. Just short of the water here in a pretty good spot. We only got like 60 yards, maybe less. I mean, thin the heck out of it, but I think that's actually gonna work out. I don't know why I'm afraid to hit the mat. Finally ran into some more golfers here, which is nice. Back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies, baby. This one, not assisted by Shimmy. Willie's cut and putt, baby. We're cutting and we're putting. Maybe they call it a cut and putt because they like cut a piece of turf for you and then that's what you hit off of and then you putt on the greens. Okay, somebody drop in the comments below if you know what a cut and putt means. Hole number eight here, we got 150 yard, par three, car three. Well, par three, car three. If I get a hole in one, I'm giving away a car to one of my subscribers. Hit that subscribe button right now. Draw in there. Oh, maybe catch a little piece. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Bang. We're good on, I think we're gonna break 40. We got one hole left. Not 100% sure where this hole goes. I mean, I think that's exactly where I wanted to hit it, Maggie. This three wood has been money, money. Can't hit driver on a course like this. Tacoma three wood. Mula. Feels phenomenal. I don't think I've had hit a bad shot with it yet. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, shoot. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. We got 120 yards out. Oh, dude, thin again, but I think that's going to really work out. That actually might be in the hole. I'm not even kidding. That might be in the hole. Not in the hole, but pretty good shot. We can end on a birdie here. Gotta hit it. I mean, gotta hit it. That was the line. All right, now it's time for us to give the course our final review. We're gonna be basing it off of three things, hospitality, price, and course conditions. And then each one of those categories is gonna be based off of one through five. We're gonna average the scores together and get our final score. First things first, we've got hospitality. Honestly, everybody was super nice. The guy who, you know, welcomed us into the pro shop, super nice. I'm also gonna throw the dogs in with the hospitality. Huge fan of the dogs, Rocco and Shimmy. Honestly, they made the day. That was a great time. They were huge positive. Would go back to that course simply because of that. So for hospitality, we're gonna go 4.0. All right, next up we got course conditions. While the greens technically no weren't terrible, they actually rolled pretty well and they weren't like super bumpy or rocky or anything. Um, the fairways, not so much. Probably the rockiest fairways we played off of. Uh, literally couldn't even play off them. We had to play off of mats. If I hadn't brought that mat, I honestly don't know what I would have done. Also just kind of a funky layout. Um, the tee boxes swallowed up my tees the entire day. Couldn't even get them out. They were so hard. So for course conditions, we're going to go 1.3. All right, finally, we got price. Not going to lie to you guys, this is probably my most disappointing part uh, from the entire course. The price for nine holes was $34.65. Not a math guy, but that puts 18 holes at this course like just shy of $70, which seems like absolute highway robbery for this course. The course definitely feels more like a $10 to $15 around type of course to me. So we're gonna go 1.2 on the price rating. So if you average those three scores that I just gave together, it comes out to about 2.2 stars, which it's pretty much right in line with what the internet said about this course, and I feel like that's pretty fitting. If you got any other courses you think would be great for this series, comment below. Love you guys. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.